My name is Judith Makuba and uh, I'm here to give a brief explanation of how the bridge uh, inspection vehicle works. It's a special vehicle and uh, it's meant for uh, inspection of bridges and in this case uh, these are bridges with inaccessible areas. For example, I'll give uh, the flyovers of which we need to do the inspection in identifying the defects that are found on those, uh, in, on those bridges and we are not able to inspect them using the normal methods of inspection. And thus, the BIV comes in for the inspection of those uh, special bridges. Uh, another example would be like the Nyali Bridge. If you want to do the inspection of the bridge and do a clear uh, identification of the defects, we'd use the bridge inspection vehicle, which is able to rotate at a 360 degree angle, and you're able to move from one part of the bridge to the other to do the inspection without any inconveniences. It can also stretch uh, depending on the span of the bridge, but also to a maximum of uh, 20 meters, and we are able to do the inspection, let's say for the span of the bridge, and be able to identify the defects. In this case, you are also having other inspection equipment that you're using for the inspection. So it doesn't just work on its own, but it's only for the purpose of ensuring that the inspector is carrying out the inspection without any inconveniences.